Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I have a little house project I need to work on. So you see here I have these IKEA dressers, one here, and I have this one right here. So those dressers are going to be my nightstands, but I don't want them white. I actually want to make a little pottery barn dupe out of it following a YouTube uh, video that I found and I'll definitely link that video below because I need to give credit where credit is due if this comes out good um, and if it doesn't come out good that's my fault that's not the video's fault but I am really excited because I have been needing new nightstands for six years almost six years we've had the tiny these tiny little cubes for nightstands and it's just not working out it's not working out these are the old nightstands literally ugly had it for like six years ring stains from like drinks um super tiny compared to our mattress our mattress is really high so super super tiny actually we just put it on the frame so that's why it's high but yeah super tiny i have the same exact one over here same ring stains so it's definitely time for an upgrade now that we have a little toddler she can reach on the top and she's grabbing everything from it and it's just not fun it's not a fun time so we need new nightstands so like i said i'm going to be working on these nightstands and trying to make them look like these pottery barn dressers these are the copang dressers if i said it right um and i don't i don't have the knobs on them because i'm going to paint them but i bought two white ones because like I said, I'm going to be painting it and buying white would have been easier to paint than the black ones. I'm really excited to transform them into something completely different. And I did do a little like paint sample on a board because I don't trust myself to just go right into it um, with the dressers, especially because I spent pretty good money on them. So I tested it on a little board and let me show you really quick. So this is a little test piece I did. I need to do another test piece because it's a little darker than I wanted it to be. And also, it's like curving. So I need to practice making it straight and then also making it a little lighter. But this is basically the end goal, making it look like wood. Like I said, I don't like how that turned out. I need to test it on another board. But before I do that, I'm going to start priming the cabinets so I could get it ready for some paint. So first let me sand it. I am going to be using 320 grit and then I have like this little sanding block and I like I said I tested that little board so this one's kind of used already. Ooh. But let's get sanding and prepping. <laughs> I don't even know the last day I filmed, the last thing I filmed. I think the last thing I filmed, it's a little dark in here, hold on. I think the last thing I filmed was me sanding these drawers. I have finally reached a point where I can just prime them. Oh my gosh, I've been so busy. Work has been busy, mom life has been busy. Anyways, I can finally prime, so I'm going to be using Kills All Purpose Primer, Interior and Exterior Primer. Um, this is just white. Um, do they sell any other color primer? I don't know. I know you can mix primer with paint, but I don't know anything. So I just need to mix it with a stick, and then I'm going to be using, let's see, hold on. I'm going to be using this paintbrush. It's a two-inch um, angled paintbrush. Don't know exactly what brand this is, because I found it in my garage from when I've painted other projects. I'm just using a two and a half inch brush, and I'm going to start off by painting the actual dressers, and then I'll move on to the drawers. <laughs> dark in here so I need a headlamp because I can't see where I painted there you go forgot I'm pregnant and I have to wear a mask I don't know but I literally look ridiculous this is <laughs> I feel like I'm doing the most right now Okay, it looks like I did absolutely nothing and also it's a wreck in here um, but I primed all of the surfaces that I need for painting so now I can finally start painting and it will start to look like I am making progress this is the bare paint in colored rugged tan I don't know how the colors coming out on camera but it like to me it looks like chocolate milk and I really want to make a glass of chocolate milk now <laughs>
guys it is many days later um i think maybe like a week later i'm not really sure i have not had time to work on the dressers but i did finish painting all of them i'm just doing one coat it's not very opaque there's a little bit like of streakiness on it but i don't mind it since i am doing like the wood texture on it um i feel like if the streakiness of the paint does come out it'll add a little more dimension to the like wood grain finish to it so let me show you some progress really quick so here are all of the drawers painted let me so you can see like there, there is some streakiness here and there but it's not too bad and like i said we're going to glaze it and make a wood texture so it's not going to be horrible there's two more here and then here are the actual like nightstands um there's like a big splotch of streaky there. I kind of am concerned about this one, but I think it will be fine. So yes, here is all the progress. I did show you guys one of the wood samples that I made before. Um, this was the first wood sample I made and it came out pretty okay, um, minus the curvature of the grains. But I, I did not like 100% how it came out. Um, so I tried it again. So the way I got that texture is I used this whisk broom and I uh, put like a thin layer of the glaze. I just like went back and forth on it like this. And then I then went with this dog brush based on like the video that I am, that I am following. Then I just like took the dog brush and like did a little streaks there. And then I tried smoothing it out with this brush like that lightly not as hard as I'm doing it now but lightly and then I just kept doing that until I got a decent um, pattern I didn't like how it came out that much though so I went to the dollar store and got one of these uh, brooms this dust broom um, and I painted this second one and then let it dry and then I put the glaze and the only thing that I did is I put a thin layer of the glaze a thinner layer than I did with the first sample I took the brush and just like went at, at an angle like that and just like started doing that a little bit and this I like this pattern way better okay I wish I had better lighting for you guys there you go so that took up more product that took up a little too much product for me um, I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with it. So, there you go. I don't think it looks horrible, but I think I like the look of it just with the broom. I'm going to start off with just the drawers, then I'm going to move on to the dressers. I think the drawers will be easier for me to start off with, so I'm going to go do that. Okay guys, so I put the, the glaze. I'm already liking how it's looking, but it's still a little sparse in some areas. I'm going to still try the, um, that was that called? <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to still try the, the broom brush method, not the wick, not the wicker brush method. So let's try that out. Sorry for the glare, but this is what it looks like. I love how it looks now, actually. I just need to work on the sides right here. It's looking messy right there. But this is a very good end product that I love. I'm going to continue with all of these other things. Yay. I'm getting very excited 
I have painted two uh, drawers so far and it's coming out so good. So let me show you guys real quick. Look how nice it is. It literally looks like wood. Like that is insane. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the rest of the drawers and I'll see you guys when I'm going to start on the dressers. Okay, so I finished all of the drawers. Um, I love how it is coming out. It looks like empty in some areas, but that's just how the camera's picking it up. It actually doesn't look that empty in some areas. But I think it will look better once it's dry. Like this looks good. Ooh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It literally looks like wood. I cannot believe this. These are still wet, so um, it'll look pick up better once it dries. Now I'm gonna work on the actual dressers. I don't know how many days have passed, but I know quite a few days have passed. And I've let um, the glaze on the dressers completely dry so that I can finally do the polyurethane. And let me show you guys how good it looks. It looks really, really, really good. I wish I could just use them now, but I definitely need to seal it with polyurethane and make sure like it's completely sealed and safe. So let me show you guys, it's so beautiful. Okay, so here's one of the dressers. So like here's a front of it. Looks so good. So beautiful. Look at the detail. Uh, like the wood detail on here it literally looks like i bought it like this look at that look at that it's, there's a bit of a sheen on it because it is a gloss i don't care too much for the sheen though it's not that bad actually i actually don't mind the sheen now that i look at it i don't mind it at all but i bought a matte polyurethane so we're going to paint it with a matte polyurethane here's another dresser it looks the same i just stepped on something looks the same here and then the drawers absolutely beautiful it looks real not like real wood but it looks like it looks like pottery barn it looks literally like pottery barn would never guess that it's ikea i'm so impressed so now i'm going to polyurethane everything and then i'm going to allow it like two days to dry before i put the drawers back in and put the knobs on I'm looking for like specific knobs and I haven't found anything that I like so I'm just gonna put like the original Ikea knobs on here I want like these like pools like um like the ring pools but actually I did find one that I like on Amazon but they only had a 10 piece because the 12 piece was like out of stock and it would not get here until like April something <sighs> so I don't want to wait that long but I don't know we'll see Hopefully I'll find something. But yeah, let me go polyurethane these things. Okay, so this is the mat. Um, finish it looks like wood I like it and then compared to like the um, sheen of the glaze before I put the polyurethane this is the sheen so I can't tell which one I like more I mean I already bought the matte polyurethane so I'm going to use it um, but I think I do like the shiny one more but we'll see I could always put a satin polyurethane later on if I want but yeah this is it this is the what it looked like as satin and then this is what it looks like as matte either or is really nice actually well i'll see how i like this in the long run it is many 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 days later i have allowed my nightstands to cure um like the polyurethane to cure and it's time for the reveal it's so beautiful my bed's not made don't mind that but it's so beautiful i love it so much it's like so cozy actually Hold on, let me make my bed. Okay, now I can reveal it to you guys. It's so beautiful. I feel like it has really transformed our room. And it's just two nightstands that we put. And like that's the only thing we changed. We changed our lamp too. But let me just let me just show you guys. Here it is. Look at it. It came out so beautiful. Don't mind that stuff. But it came out so beautiful. I need to get lampshades, but other than that. It really has like I feel like an actual adult and I feel like we have upgraded our room 
I love it. I love it. Like all the detail, like the wood grain detail on it. All over. I even like did it on the inside too. Not like the inside of the drawer, but I did it like right there where you could see it when it's open right there where you could see it where it's open. So I tried to cover everything. But here is the finished result. I cannot be any more happier with how it came out. I like how it's like like some dark areas here and there. Like I just love how it's like not perfect. It's rustic and it's just beautiful. So I do want to change out the knobs eventually, but I just uh I haven't found the perfect one I want to change it out to. Uh once I do, I will change it out because I it look it could look even more high end. It could look even more pottery barn. But right now it looks like pottery barn on a, on a budget but we'll get there thank you guys so much for watching thank you for like seeing how this played out and how this came out i'm really impressed with myself and really surprised with how well i did with this i'm really glad that i like changed to the method a little bit i just used like a regular broom instead of what she used which she has used in other videos i did watch her other videos and she has used in other videos but I'm just really, I'm just really impressed and really happy with how it came out. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. I hope if, if you like this video, please like the video, share and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for when I upload again. And I'm so thankful for you guys. Thank you all for your support, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye.